Wee woo! Fan life! Hey guys, welcome back. So it's a smoky day today because of the Oregon fires. Not sure if you guys can see that. But uh, two days ago we managed to get that top cabinet out. And today we're going to be trying to get this cabinet out. Uh, everything left of this screw is coming out is because to the right of it is all where that, that electrical cabinet is and I don't want to touch any of that uh, but the other day after we got the cabinet out I did manage to get this AC unit and that heater going so I just got this light out I had to snip the wires because there was no way of uh, getting it out without uh, cutting some wires and I thought before I put it back together, I'll just show you guys how a switch works. Um, switch might be really simple to some, but I don't know the background of uh, the people who are watching. But, so the middle plates there right now are connected. When you move this, the switch, it disconnects the ground plates. Connect, disconnect. Uh, so because this side of the counter and after this cut, uh, this cabinet could potentially be used and seen. I am going to cut this with a little bit of finesse. I'm not going to use a, uh, a reciprocal saw. I'll be using a jigsaw to cut it as, as uh, straight and nice as possible. So I'm just going to clean this up real quick with a bit of water and paper towels. And then I will be marking, uh, marking the line which I'll be cutting with the jigsaw. Um, so this is one of the reasons why people don't like ambulances is if you can see right there that's old blood like you can't clean that um, that is one of the, the the bad things of getting a used ambulances you will get these nooks and crannies where you can't you just can't clean I'm going to use the jigsaw and cut all the way down here uh, to the left side of those screws again because should probably put those screws those these three screws back in but yeah I'll, I'll, I'll draw the line and uh, cut, cut that out all the way to the bottom as far as I can Not sure what that hit. I'm stopping there. So back there, right in that corner, is what I hit. I hit the the bottom, this bottom board here. So I didn't damage the saw at all, but it was a bit of a surprise. So I've been investigating this cabinet, and it doesn't look like I can do much more screw-wise to disassemble it. Uh, this was constructed beforehand, uh, be before it was put in the ambulance, so there's screws back there which I can't get to. So I cut through that, that bottom board that was on the other side of this cabinet with the reciprocal saw. Um, I had a lock in there. I'm going to try to show you guys. I was real lucky. Um, you might not be able to see, but that black gap when I'm pulling those boards apart uh, the wheel well is right there and my blade just missed that wheel well by like a centimeter I realize there's no point taking off this until I can take off the top part so uh, what ideally because of the screws I would just cut through the screws here but none of my tools are gonna fit in this tight gap so I'm going to use crowbars and just uh, strip the screws right out. So I'm going to push down on the board to open it up to see where the screws are. And I see one like right here. So I'll try to get the crowbar in. Get the hammer. Thank you. 
There we go, strip that screw. There's another hammer right here on where my index finger is. So uh, try to get into there. Strip that screw. This is going to be a really unconventional sawing method. Um, we're holding the saw blade upside down. Uh, the cut's not quite straight. So, there we go. Easy. So, with a bit of luck, a lot of force should be able to pull these right out. There we go. Uh, why aren't you guys coming along? There we go. So I just hand sawed that all the way to the bottom because I didn't want to use a reciprocal blade so close to the wheel well. And nothing's really connecting it, connecting this board or holding it in place anymore apart from the floor. So this floor, this rubber or whatever floor it's made of um, is actually really durable and it's stuck to this, this board here. So I want to see if I can use like a Stanley knife or a chisel and cut through it right at the corner so then I can just lift this whole this uh, whole piece up. So I didn't video that, uh, I probably should have, but so what I did was I took the Stanley knife, cut it all along this the ground and now it wobbles a lot more and the whole the whole board is moving on the connection. It still might be a little bit glued or I might not have cut it fully. Okay so I got that screw out so let's see if the, the, the board will lift up now. Hey! Great success! Okay let's get this out of here. So the jigsaw we used the jigsaw to cut all the way down, down to about here, where it got caught on this, where it got caught on this. I could have kept cutting with the jigsaw. Uh, probably should have actually kept cutting with the jigsaw down here. And I did not know. Well, I knew there was a wheel well, but I didn't know there was a wheel well so close to here. So my reciprocal saw came just down and missed it by less than a finger width. Uh, I mean. I would have stopped as soon as I hit it, but I still wouldn't have wanted to hit it. And here's the rest of the, the cabinet. So after like 15 minutes, I managed to get all the screws out. Um, the good thing is uh, this whole back panel now is only held in by these two little screws, which now I can get access to somewhat if I need to like run some wiring through back back here and just a neat little thing you remember that light I took out they ground it just right uh, to the chassis right here rather than running it all, all the way back to the grounding block uh, just to, just to save some wiring so they so because I can't uh, get underneath to unscrew this board here uh, I'm going to have to do the same thing that I did here. I'm going to have to uh, just strip the screws straight off. So I've got the angle grinder back. 
Got the angle grinder, put the grinder on, grinding disc on. I don't have a cutting disc, unfortunately, but I can easily just grind this off and then uh, try to get it as close to the board as I can without actually getting the board. Uh, get these, get these ones out as well. So yeah, that's uh, all the angle grinding we're going to do today. I forgot to do the screw. I'll do it. I'll do it real quick. But I filed. Uh, I grinded down each of those uh, screws as well, so they won't catch on anything. Uh, the first one that I did was definitely the worst. Uh, scuff that, but it's okay. Um, and yeah, I forgot to wear my hearing protection. Now my ears won't stop ringing. So don't forget to use that.